right? And we're starting, okay, we got to 500 subscribers. That's so crazy. That's so crazy. It's so insane. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. My energy's up a little bit. Um, I just got done filming the, uh, the video for this upcoming Friday. So you'll, you'll actually see this shirt that says bow ties are cool. It's one of my favorite shirts. It's from a, it's a Doctor Who reference for all of you, any of you are Whovians. Um, I'm super nerdy, so of course I like it. Uh, but anyway, um, 500 subscribers. That's crazy. Uh, if any of you haven't really seen, if any of you haven't been here since the last time I did one of these thank you videos, which I did it for 100 subscribers, um, you don't know that this is kind of the way that I talk. Uh, my brain tends to work a little bit faster than my mouth can catch up for. And so there tends to be a lot of pauses, ums, uh, uhs. Like I tend to, I don't speak as fluidly as I make it sound like I do in my videos. My videos are very highly edited uh, because the way that I talk naturally and the way that I pause isn't necessarily entertaining or really conducive for to make good uh, tech review videos. So it's not really um, great to listen to. So this is more natural. Um, I, basically what I do is I just kind of sit down and I talk to you and I kind of tell you whatever's going on in my mind. And basically I just wanted to say thank you for 500 subscribers. Uh, the fact that you guys are willing to take the time out of your day to watch my stuff. Like that's, that seems so odd to me. I mean, I appreciate it. Like, don't get me wrong. I think that's wonderful because the whole concept behind this is to give you some sort of break in your day. I want to make it entertaining, I want to make it informative, and I want to genuinely like help you guys make better purchase decisions. Like that's kind of the whole intent behind all of this. Um, so it's crazy that you guys like it and uh, thank you. I, I really don't know what else to say or what else, uh, what other sentiment to give you um, other than that. Um, I'll keep getting better. I'll keep making videos. Uh, I don't plan on going anywhere. And as I kind of go along, like, I mean, I got like, like new, like lighting setup stuff here. So I guess one of my faces kind of like illuminated a little bit better. Um, so like everything's kind of, I'm getting more things as I'm going on and I'm kind of getting better as I go and, um, learning how to do all of this, which I came into this really blind, not understanding exactly how YouTube worked. Um, I did some videos like before this and it was a long time ago and they got a lot of views like one of my videos ended up getting like over a million views the rest of them got like hundreds of thousands kind of things but I, I didn't do it for like monetization or really for any like channel um, it was just things that I posted on there and but this was like you know 10 years ago so those things are hidden you guys aren't finding them good luck but because uh, it's, it's a little embarrassing but anyway um, I, uh, one of the biggest questions that I get is kind of how I got to 500 subscribers um, and how I got to it so quickly. Like a lot of people ask me that and it's hard to answer them. Like I kind of give them like some sort of like cookie cutter answer um, because that's kind of the best way that I've been able to figure out how to answer that question because really like the really the real answer to that question is I don't know. Um, I've only been doing this for like three months because the first hundred I got to in I think it was like 48 days, I want to say. Um, pretty sure it was 48 days uh, from from when I first posted my first video. Um, and then it's been, well, hold on, let me look. So I posted the message, it says um, my first 100 subscriber video. Um, I posted that one on March 16th. So I think I got to it the day before that, so March 15th. And today is the 24th, so that's 40 days after, yeah, 40 days afterwards. Um, so I got to my first 148 days and in almost the same amount of time, a little bit less, I got an additional 400 and a little bit over actually. Uh, my current subscriber count is 532 because I reached it before, I think I reached it like on Friday. I reached 500 on Friday, but this weekend was so crazy. I didn't have time to sit down and do this. Uh, and I have time today. So it's at 532 now. So I've gotten over 400 in um, under 40 days, which is kind of crazy. And I mean, I'll share with you what I think gave me those numbers. Um, because getting to 500 in under 90 days is pretty good. I would say, um, it's a pretty fast rise and 
I mean, I want to say that I know how that happened, but really, not really. But let me let me try to share what I think um, led me to these numbers. So, one is going to be social media, of course, right? Um, engaging with the public, engaging with your viewership is key. So, be on as many as you possibly can. Um, I'm not on as many as I possibly can uh, because I'm still kind of learning how the social media marketing can be used for this type of business. And like it or not, if you have a YouTube page and if you're using it for uh, any sort of monetization purposes, which I'm trying to, um, I think that if you're trying to do something through YouTube that can eventually promote a business, I think you'd be a fool not to try to do that. Um, the primary purpose of doing a YouTube page and YouTube videos should not be to monetize or to be YouTube famous, uh, but that's not to say that that can't be a goal, and that's not to say that you can't accomplish those things. Uh, uh, there's a lot of those like self-help, like tips and tricks uh, type of like YouTube videos and pages that will kind of tell you that like, like oh, you should never, if you want to start a YouTube page because you want to be YouTube famous or make money, then you should never start a YouTube page. That's, that's ridiculous because... Those people, I think, those people are trying to stop you from being successful. They want to stop uh, some sort of weird way of stopping other competition, which is strange because YouTube is so big. Like, there's a space for everybody. There's a space for every niche or niche, however you want to say that, even though it's spelled niche, so for sure say niche. Um, but there's space for this. YouTube is huge. And if odds are, if you think a certain way, and if you watch a YouTube video, and if there's a specific reason why you like that YouTube video, odds are, if you made a video in the same way that you would find entertaining, odds are somebody else would find that entertaining as well. And just because there's other people out there who do the same thing that you do, that doesn't mean that you have to be jealous. That doesn't have, mean that you have to try to put them down. That doesn't mean that you can't be successful in that exact same space. What it means, um, which is the beautiful, beautiful thing of YouTube, is you should help those people. And you should add content and you should add value to YouTube and to your niche. Um, the more information that is out there, the more videos that's out there, the more content that is out there, the better. Um, there's room for everybody. So if you guys are thinking about starting a YouTube page and you're not sure if you really want to do it, um, it's a lot of work. It's way more work than I thought it would be, um, especially if you're trying to do some sort of like high production value like I try to. Uh, granted, it's not the best by far, like not even close to being the best on YouTube. I'm very well aware of that. Um, but it's the best that I can do currently. And I'm getting better. Like I have like like a lighting rig kind of thing like now, like these little like umbrella kind of things. And I didn't think that they would be this inexpensive. There's obviously there's pretty expensive ones out there, but these are like pretty reasonably priced, which is nice. And it offers this really nice light. I like it a lot. Um, but you have to understand that when you're on YouTube, um, helping people is better than anything else that you could possibly do to grow your brand. Um, outside of like social media, which it's always good to promote yourself um, through that. And you have to be really careful with social media when how you promote um, yourself and your YouTube page or business or whatever it is, because people can smell bullshit like a mile away. They understand very, very well when you're not being honest about something. Um, oh man, my microphone isn't in. Hold on, I'm gonna change this audio real quick. Sorry about that. Anyway, this, you'll probably hear me a little bit better now. Um, you, what was I saying? Uh, see, this is the thing about these videos is that I <laughs> normally I would just edit this part out, but this is how I normally talk. I get off on these tangents and I get distracted. That's just how I am. Um, anyway, social media. Uh, you <laughs> When you're promoting your business and you you have to be really careful because people can kind of, they can, they understand when you're being fake. They understand when you're going on there specifically because you're trying to promote your business and you're not trying to be personable in any way. And you should try to be personable. You should try to show 
yourself. You should try to be vulnerable. You should try to allow yourself to be seen uh, out on social media if you want to be successful, like specifically on YouTube. And uh, that advice kind of like spans to other avenues as well, but this is mainly guided towards YouTube. Um, But if you're on YouTube and you want to grow and you want to uh, be a part of the community, you have to be nice. I know that sounds like simple, but there's certain people that uh, having support of other YouTubers is everything. So, for example, I'll give you a couple key examples. Um, I, my first, very first, like strictly YouTube friend was this guy, uh, DJ. He has his own channel, which, um, All these people that I talk about, well, I'll actually put links in the description so you can like see their channels and you can go to their channels. Um, I met him through like a webinar that basically that was talking about like how to be successful on YouTube. Um, So I kind of met him through like one of those free webinar kind of things and kind of gained a contact through that. And he's been great. He's been a really nice guy. It's been awesome um, having people. He has his own tech tech channel. and his is his is kind of morphed more into like a tips and tricks kind of thing, which is great. Like that's a space that's needed to be filled. So I'm, DJ, I'm glad that you did that. You should keep you should keep doing that because those are really good. Um, but that's that was kind of like my first contact, and of course uh, one of my you know longest best friends, uh, this guy named Jonathan Sintes, he has his own YouTube page. Uh, he is a professional baseball player. Uh, he plays down in Mexico. The guy's phenomenal. He's a pitcher. It's, he is dangerous with how good he is. So if you like baseball or sports in any way, he is, his channel kind of focuses more on uh, kind of the inside view of what it's like to be a professional baseball player. He also has a lot of workout videos that are geared towards baseball players and pitchers specifically. But if you do it just as a regular person, it's going to be very beneficial for, uh, for your workouts as well. It's very creative workouts. Um, so definitely check him out as well. Um, he's always been a high support system, and he helps in a lot of ways with promoting my videos. I promote his videos on social media. On you know, we comment on each other's stuff, which actually helps within the YouTube algorithm uh, to kind of help promote your your YouTube uh, YouTube videos. It kind of helps rank it, uh, which which ranking means that your video is like you know the the number that your video is listed in a scale of one to however many videos there are in a specific search. So if you search, you know, uh, tech review, blah, 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 whatever, tech review for um, uh, MX Master, a Logitech MX Master, which is one of the more recent reviews that I did. If you type in Logitech MX Master, the number that my video comes up on a list of however many that there are, which is millions, uh, probably, I think there's like hundreds of thousands, or whatever, um, whatever that number is, that's what your rank is. So there's lots of things that you can do to kind of help yourself rank. There's tags, there's uh, different things um, that can help, you know, make captions, share it on social media, put te- put cards, all that stuff. But one of the things is commenting and other people's commenting, liking. Um, so having him has been a great thing. Um, he's actually my going to be my best man for my wedding. Um, so not only is a he's a YouTube friend, but he's a you know he's one of my best friends, which is great. Um, and you also meet different people. Like I also have this guy, uh, Justin Bravo, who he has a crazy, amazing vlog. Uh, he vlogs every day. Um, he's been fantastic. He's been extremely helpful, extremely nice. And also uh, Lydia Isnanto. Um, she ha- also has a vlog, very positive, uplifting, um, very cute kind of vlog. Um, it's it's very it's really fun. I actually like her vlog a lot. It's great. Um, uh, and then just kind of like more recently, um, I, I've been kind of like talking to him just a little bit. Uh, this guy, Jason, um, he has JSL reviews. Um, he does a lot of tech reviews and stuff like me. Um, he has really great, like I actually kind of look up to it, the way that he does his reviews a lot. Um, I look up to him and, and his talent in that way. So getting these connections with people that you admire um, and people that you uh, find value in the things that they provide to you um, gaining connections with these people is important because not only are you gaining friendships which <clears throat> I think these not only are some of these real life friendships um, they're now becoming YouTube friendships 
which to me that line is kind of being blurred between like online and real friendships like i don't really see that there's a line there anymore i'm kind of gaining these connections with these people on a, on a pretty intimate level uh, which is great so that's kind of something that you need to focus on if you're thinking about starting a youtube page is to create a team um, a tribe around you of people that you can trust that will help you um, that will be supportive of you that will uh, do collaborations with you and you need to think about doing things for people as opposed to what they're going to do for you that's another really big thing is there's this guy Gary V if you don't know who Gary V is um, you should if you he's a really motivational kind of guy even if you're not into business um, which he's this he's this entrepreneur that sorry um, it's an entrepreneur that he kind of started out like a while ago like with this wine business and then kind of eventually transitioned and formed this social media empire company called Vayner Vayner Media and his, his full name is Gary Vaynerchuk goes by Gary V V E E or you can just search Gary V and just find some videos that he puts out there he's very intense he's high energy and he's no filter which is great I find that I actually find that really refreshing um, I don't like people sugarcoating stuff to me I'd rather them just you know tell me exactly how it is right away really really fast hi Bailey hi do you want to come over here sorry it's my dog come here she needed some love I guess um, but anyway come here she's shy she doesn't want to be in the video uh, anyway um, what he what Gary V talks about is he talks about that your intention needs to be pure and <clears throat> what he means by that is you have to provide value to people in order for them to provide value for you and even if they never ever provide any value for you if they never help you out the act of you providing value to someone else in turn will help someone in some way shape or form so you're helping that person um, if you want to like provide a service for them like for me for example okay for example for me uh, I will reach out to companies and I will tell them that I want to review something for them um, if they have any products that they have like just lying around that they want to be reviewed um, you know send me a product and I'll review it for you I'll put it up on uh, my YouTube page I'll do a very good job make sure that your product and that your company has you know its best foot forward and then I'm doing my best if it's a good product um, to further their brand and their product in the best way that I can help them and I don't ask for money I don't go out of my way to like say hey what can you do for me it's what can I do for you and I think that that's something that you need to uh, if you want to come up you can you're just kind of like sitting there um, you can come up see there we go see, there we go she's sweet um, so you have to like provide <laughs> you have to provide some sort of like value for these people and um, <laughs> uh, sorry it's just she gives hugs and kind of melts your heart a little bit um, so you have to provide value for these people and I don't ask them for anything um, I don't try to get money from these people I just want to don't hit the thing I just want to give them value and provide value for them and at some point someday um, if you do enough for them they will contact you and they will say what can we do for you and I think that's a way that business isn't really conducted a lot anymore it's very much of you just trying to fit into their model um, customer service is really known as far as being really really high in very specific companies it's not a very widely scoping um, thing anymore for for a lot of different people uh, but it needs to be the customer service needs to be key and they need to be able to provide you some sort of value and you need you need to start doing this kind of thing as well um, so that's the biggest thing and that's probably the biggest piece of, piece of advice that I can give to future youtubers or anybody that's wanting to go into business is to provide for other people and to sacrifice your own time you know maybe some of your money um, to help others and that's what I try to do the best that I possibly can 
and I think that's kind of why I've grown in the way that I have and I mean I think it's also like the the production that I put into it I, I, I do my best to try to appeal to a very specific audience of people who are kind of like me um, when I watch videos I want to be entertained informed and I want to have some sort of value and um, that's what I try to do in my videos I try to uh, say everything that I need to say that's going to give you all the information that I can give you that without holding your hand like I don't want to treat you like you're a child I don't want to tell you whether every single little thing about it as to whether you should get this thing or not I kind of want you to decide for yourself I just want to give you the information because you're adults you can decide whether you want this thing or not um, and if along the way I can make you smile if I can make you laugh if I can give you a break throughout the day um, then I've accomplished my goal and that's the value that I want to give to you I'm not asking anything in return um, what you do give me is subscribers likes comments um, you give me good feelings about that kind of stuff it, it makes me happy I, I like waking up every morning and I check my comments I check my subscriber count and it makes me feel good and it's not I mean it's a little bit of ego stroking like a little bit because who doesn't like knowing that uh, who doesn't like hearing that they're doing a good job you know like that's that's really nice but the reason why I do that and the reason why I obsess about responding to people and the reason why I obsess about the numbers is because I want to know that my work and what I'm doing with YouTube videos is affecting people in some way and higher numbers um, is just kind of a way to tell that analytically and the comments are a little bit more of a visceral way to kind of see that as well and likes all that kind of stuff so um, that helps me um, it helps me get more exposure so therefore it helps me grow it helps me figure out um, new ways to give you more because the more that I grow uh, the more that I can work with companies, the more products that I can get, the more potential income I could gain that will allow me to focus more on this uh, for a larger percentage of the week. So I can give you more than one video a week. I would love to give you more than one video a week. Um, but it's hard work doing one video a week. It's a lot with all the other stuff that I do. Like, I mean, I do have a job, uh, I go to school full time and I do this so regardless of what I do I'll always do this because with all this craziness that I have and all the stress that is kind of associated with all that I still have time for this I still make time for this is probably the way that I should say that um, because like, I, I could be doing a whole bunch of other stuff um, this is all in my spare time I could be playing video games. I love playing video games but I haven't had time to play it all that much because I'm doing this and that's not a bad thing I like this I like doing this this is this is adding value for me um, so when it kind of comes down to everything, um, the last piece of advice, uh, I kind of like have said it a couple times, so I'm going to say it again, provide value for other people, provide value for, uh, if you're doing YouTube videos, provide value for people and provide free value and don't ask for anything in return. Um, I think that's something that you should do in life, you know, in general. Uh, you should go out of your way to try to help somebody at the sacrifice of your own free time um, and the sacrifice of your wants and needs. At some point, you have to take care of yourself and you have to be selfish. And there's nothing wrong with being that um, because having confidence in yourself and knowing what you need and want, uh, there's nothing wrong with making those things a priority and taking those things for yourself. But fulfillment is going to come from giving and whatever that means to you um, for me it's this and it's kind of one of the ways that I want to do that and if you even if you don't realize it you're giving to me tremendously so um, to kind of wrap all this up I know this has gone oh my god 24 minutes I'm so sorry uh, you're a trooper if you sat all the way through this that's like that's a, like a whole episode uh, looks like a th whole like, episode of the office um, thank you for everything thank you for all that you've given me uh, thank you for 
subscribing. Thank you for sticking around. And thank you for providing value to me, uh, to my page, to my life. It means the world. And uh, the best that I can do to pay you back is to keep doing this um, and just to get better and to keep communicating with you and to make sure that you guys know that I'm here and that I do care about you. I do care about the things that you say. I do care about each and every one of you. And I always will. And it means a lot. And uh, I know that that might sound insincere or a little bit fake, but that's not. It's I, I do care about this kind of stuff. So thank you. I greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys at 1,000 subscribers. Um, I kind of plan on I plan on doing it like at 100, 500, 1,000. Um, maybe... 2,500, then 5,000, then 10, then 10,000 increments and so on and so forth. Whether I get there or not, who knows. Uh, but I hope to. And if you want me to get to those numbers, um, please share my page. Um, tell other people about my page. Let them know. That really does help me out as well. But uh, again, thank you. I love all of you. Genuinely, I do love all of you. And I will see you guys on Friday when I upload a new video. Okay, thanks. Bye.